So I'd like to take a moment and answer a question I got about acrylic painting. And here's the question. Sorry, a bit irrelevant, but I have acrylic paint, but I'm a bit afraid to use them because it dries quickly. May I know how I should keep my acrylic paint from drying while I'm painting? Great question. How do we keep acrylic paint from drying so quickly? Well, the answer would surprise you. I've been painting portraits for about 30 years and I have developed what I call the acrylic glazing technique. It's actually a technique I learned from Norbert Cox, an instructor way back in the 1990s. And I, I kind of developed it for portrait painting. And the questions that you're answering actually can be um, answered in a different way than what you think. So it's not really so much that we're looking at making acrylic dry slower. We're not trying to slow down the drying time so much, at least with the way I paint using the acrylic glazing technique. And that's where we uh, paint with several, several translucent layers, mixing a little bit of paint with a lot of clear acrylic matte medium. And when you paint like that, you're actually using layers. So let me give you uh, three ways in the way I paint using the acrylic glazing technique where you can overcome the fast drying time of acrylic. Okay, so uh, step number one, I or I should say the way number one would be to get better at blending and brushwork. Get better at blending and brushwork. So rather than trying to slow down the acrylic drying time and people use different mediums like retardant mediums or gel mediums and I find that they just make it frustrating because you really can't make acrylic like oils. Oils inherently have very slow drying time. You can work on an oil painting for days or even weeks, even months, depending on how thick the paint is applied and what kind of pigment it is. But with acrylics, even with the retardant medium, you're never going to get it to dry as slow as oil. So it's just going to be frustrating because you're going to end up smearing your canvas when you rest your hand in there. And I just try to benefit from the quick drying time of acrylics and I make it work for me, not against me. So you want to get better at your blending and your brushwork. You know, when you're doing your brushwork, and I have videos on this, um, you want to do some very, very fast brush strokes and then smooth it out, smooth it out. Fast brush strokes to get the paint in, smooth it out and keep a wet edge at all times and just keep moving along. That's the best way to get acrylic to work for you and not against you, okay? The way number two would be to use layers. Again, I talked about this using matte medium, mixing a little bit of paint with a lot of matte medium and then you do what we call a glazing technique where you, you just apply a lot of layers. And over time, as you apply those layers, you can get a sfumato kind of smoky blending like Leonardo da Vinci. And this is a portrait here of my wife, by the way. This is done the, in the acrylic glazing technique. This painting is not finished yet. It's pretty close, but I just wanted to demonstrate to you what that could look like and how you can get this really smooth sense of blending by using many, many translucent layers. The light shines through the different layers, bounces off of the white primer of the canvas beneath, and then back to your eye and gives it great sense of vibrancy and depth, just like the old masters. All right, so those are two, two ways. Now the third way would be something not so much in your control, in your painting process, but more in your environment. And that would be to make sure that you have a fairly uh, moist painting environment. So if you are painting in a very arid environment, very dry, you, you live in a desert kind of climate, or even like me here in Wisconsin, USA, where I live, and I paint um, you know, with, with a wood heater uh, blowing hot air into my studio, it can get very dry. And so you can use a spray mister, you can use a humidifier, keep your paints from drying out. Humidifiers, making sure your environment has a little more moisture content in the air, can really slow down the drying time of acrylics without adding different mediums that can really cause a lot of other problems, in my opinion, and at least in my experience in painting. So there's three different ways, getting better at blending and brushwork, 
um, using layers, and then making sure your environment is moist enough. Those three ways can really help you to make the quick drying time of acrylic work for you and not against you. And you won't be so frustrated with the fast drying time of acrylic. I hope that answers your question. And anybody else who has that same question, I hope it answers yours as well. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to get a hold of me, see more of my work, go to realisticacrylic.com. I have several tips, tutorials, videos there for you. You'll benefit from those, realisticacrylic.com. My name is Matt Filio. Thank you so much for watching. God bless, and we'll talk to you soon.